G'day and welcome to Cloud Cartographer. So something that is a little known feature in uh, Kubernetes 1.5 is pod disruption budget. So I wanted to take a quick look, um, show you what they're all about. Um, and I'm gonna give you a quick demo on how they work. But basically the idea is that you could specify um, across a fleet of pods, how many uh, you need at one time to qualify a service as being up. So let's say we had uh, a deployment with a replicas of three, you could say you want um, two replicas to be up. Um, now, one interesting thing about the, uh, the pod disruption budget is um, it only, the budget can only protect against voluntary evictions. So not all causes of unavailability. So obviously if a whole fleet of nodes goes down on, um, on Kubernetes, you can't do anything to protect against that, at least using pod disruption budgets. But if there are voluntary events uh, known as evictions, you could um, protect against that. So when, when would, might you get an eviction? So you could have Kubelet actually handling out of resources. So, hey, I'm out of uh, memory, so I want to cause an eviction. Um, other sources may be something like uh, kubectl drain, so get everything, all the pods off this node, so that may be another source. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a nice way in this demo to request an eviction, so simply going to be saying please get this pod off uh, with a JSON object. So let's go over and, and try and replicate um, and show you what we have here. Okay, so here I have an application running called Croc Hunter. Again, we'll bring up old faithful Croc Hunter, um, and I should have three pods running here if this comes up. Okay, so I have three pods running. This is in a deployment with a replication of three. Um, so what I'm gonna do is also show you uh, pod disruption budget, another nice one to type with kubectl. So I do have a pod disruption budget here set to two. Um, you can see that I've allowed one disruption and the age on it when I created it is approximately about this time. So you can see this one down here is at nine minutes, the rest are at 13 because I have asked for a disruption. I'll just pop over here to show you what I'm gonna be doing. Um, so here's an eviction um, JSON object. So I'm gonna grab just the name of one of these pods and whack it in this eviction JSON here. And then we'll go ahead and submit that. So I'm gonna flip it out. This is me testing before I did the record. Um, so now with curl, I'm going to hit an endpoint um, in the namespace under the pod name and asking for an eviction. So I'll just update the name here as well. Um, okay. So that should have happened. I should get um, a response here. It's a little slow. There we go, 201 created. And if we do uh, get pods again, we should see that one pod has been evicted and obviously the deployment replica set has spun up another one. So it's let me do the eviction. So all I'm illustrating here is I've got min availability of two, I've got replicas of three, so of course I can evict one without issue. So let's go and edit this deployment, wishing prawn croc hunter, and I'm just gonna change the uh, replicas to two. Okay, so now if we go back and get pods. Okay, so we've got two pods running now, and I have, let me just refresh my memory here, I have a min available of two, and allow disruptions um, of zero here. So what I'm going to do is just try and do a disruption against this pod. So I'm gonna update this JSON. Okay, and then again, go and do another curl. Just need to update the, uh, the replica set and the pod ID here. So I'm gonna be asking to evict this and it should say no. Okay, so yes. I get a 429 back saying cannot evict pod as it would violate the pod's disruption budget. So you can see that I've asked to do um, to evict that pod, but the disruption budget is indeed protecting it. So if I go and take a look, I should see that nothing has restarted here. So we're indeed um, all good. So that's kind of the, the idea behind prod disruption budgets. Uh, the min available setting can be uh, either an integer or a percentage. So across a fleet you could say oh, I need this many percentage across a, um, a replica set. So it's great. Um, 
And, and that's about it. I just wanted to kind of go through because I was taking a look at what this stuff did. I thought I'd get a quick record in because it's a little known feature, but I think it's fairly useful. Um, so fantastic. Thanks for tuning in. And if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for joining. Peace.